So a big thing that has been going on is um, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I have been playing it. I've owned it. Uh, that's probably why we're a little bit behind on everything because I've been using my time to play Zelda games. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Um, there's a lot of great stuff coming out. Have you seen anything of the Zelda footage at all yet? I specifically have not. Oh, perfect. For various reasons. Mm. There's some cool added uh, features where you can um, build stuff. You can connect stuff. It's really cool. It's like Minecraft meets Zelda, basically. What? And and you can energize, like power things with batteries. So you can attach rockets and fly out all over the place. But I just thought this would be a good video to start off our conversation with Zelda. Yeah, Are you ready? Okay, yeah. Do you have any idea what the TTP on an item like this is going to be? Yeah, it's going to be oh, like... Uh... TTP, guys, is time to penis. It's the time it takes for a uh, player to use a new item to make a penis. Yes, I know what TTP is. Yeah, David, stop mansplaining. They're not gonna, they're not gonna make dicks, Ian. You give the public a shovel, they dig dicks. You give them a pen, they draw dicks. You give them some clay... Definitely gonna sculpt dicks. <laughs> It's true, and I'm glad. I'm glad we're all, you know, speaking truth right now. Um, yes. So, so here's the thing, though. Wait a minute. So in Zelda now, they have a Minecraft or Gary's mod element to it. So basically, um, let me get this up and going. Let me share a screen really quick. Yeah. So. Okay. Is this your gameplay, Nick? Yeah. Can you hear the video footage? Can you hear audio? No. You can't. Okay. No. But it's it's. It's artful. It's silent. So it's basically, there's some cool. This is my my game gameplay footage. Whoa, dude, you're there's really a, high. There's a whole new. You can go over on the sky. You can you can jump off and you can paraglide. But this is the whole world, Kyle. It's fully open world. You can go wherever you want once you. Okay, so this is part of the mechanics. You can attach things to other things and then like make your own shapes and then you can power them. So those are fans on the back of a device so I can like ride across these rails to get to my destination. Kind what? of thing. So it's like it's a whole new different dimension to solving puzzles in the Zelda universe. Wow. Whoa. Oh, and there's oh, people oh, that have been making crazy I have I've only been playing for a good Oh. Maybe seven to eight hours, but there's people that have did some really cool stuff, like we saw in the TikTok earlier. Yes, like but... we saw the <laughs> feats of engineering and whatnot. Yes. But yeah, so there's so there's like these lookout points where it shoots you up into the sky. Oh, you wait, you and... can attach one of those fans on your back. Yeah, you can. You can attach it. You can attach anything to your shield too. You can attach rocks to fans to rockets to flamethrowers on your shield. You can also attach like I have a rock attached to my sword, which makes it like a hammer. Yeah, it is. It's freaking sick. They did such a good job with this game. I'm a big fan. Now, but what, is, what what are you scanning for right now? What was that? What so was you're that? scanning for the area for the map. So when you look at the map, oh. you can kind of, you know, it, it can tell you all the different mountain ranges and stuff there. This so is the you, inventory. Is that how you uncover the map? Is yeah. you mm -hmm. survey like that? Yeah, you survey. Yeah. That's, oh my God. And there's also these three-headed yeah. monster dragons that I'm not brave enough to face. <laughs> so I just, wow. I just zoom in and I walk away. <laughs> there's oh, another one. Off yeah. I go. <laughs> There's another good one um, right here. I was like scanning the area. Here you go. Oh, oh so there's multiple of them. Like oh, yeah, because they're guardian. at like different different points and stuff like that. Okay. And then as you can tell, like I didn't cross this bridge. I had to go the long way around because. <laughs> right. Hey, there's a three-headed freaking dragon right there. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty intimidating. I don't know. I mean, you only have, uh, you know, five hearts. Yes. Yeah. Anyways. Okay. So, Kyle, I want yeah. you to, what movie, animation, TV show, whatever, what's going to come to mind? I'm going to show you one of the first clips of the game. Sure. And like that progresses the story forward and part of the reasoning. But I'm, I'm just curious what you, what it reminds you of. Okay. If it reminds you of anything. Okay. Are you watching? Oh, I am. This is the very beginning of the game.
Zelda, no! Okay. Any guesses All right. what that reminded you of? Uh, beyond a doubt, Metal Gear Solid. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I, 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 I'm joking. Uh, Princess Mononoke. Woo! No. I thought the same thing. I the thought possessed the, hand. The, like, right, I yeah. thought the same exact thing. Yeah, when I saw, even with the way it shoots out. Yes. And it comes. I was just like, dude, talk yeah. about being inspired by something amazing. Yes. By the way, we've done breakdowns on all the different stuff, but I was just like, I remember dude. watching that as a kid, and then having his, him fighting his possessed hand to not draw the blade, like was like, whoa, you know, yeah. um, man, it's it's just so, isn't it? It's like the same thing, right? Like it's the concept is very similar. Yes, you have you have yeah. an arm. Like you look at that. Tendrils, tendrils yeah. of yeah. of d- d- demonic ick. Yes. And it's now infected the sword arm. Yes. You know? And it looks like the weapon as well to boot. Yeah. So Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, highly inspired by Princess Mononoke, Studio Ghibli. Don't blame them at all. Other, are there any other um, so there's another character. Ooh, I don't know if I have that screen. Right. 